Hello. It is already one o'clock. I haven't filmed any today yet because it's just been a an interesting morning and um, I've just been taking time for myself. I just finished meditating for like an hour and it was so what I needed. At the beginning it was really challenging and there was like so much I was just so resisting it. I didn't want to do it. All the thoughts were still there. Didn't want to sit still, but I just stuck with it. So I got some really great insights for myself, just reflecting things about myself that I um, tend to do, or parts of my consciousness that I'm using to create that aren't supporting me. And I'd say the biggest thing that I got from it that I feel like I should share is just to be with the fear. So the things that terrify me the most, and again, I don't know if you can relate to this, but the things that terrify me the most are really the things that are going to create the change that I want. It's almost like what I want is on the other side of the fear. And so I have to go through it in order to, to get what I want. And I keep, you know, maybe I keep trying to go this way or step sideways or go that way. But what I really need to do is just keep going straight ahead um, and keep going into that fear because it's such an illusion, you know, it's such a like again I'm creating it I'm just creating that limitation for myself and so um, I saw some cool images with that just really like just sit with the fear just be with it you don't need to do it or change it or do anything to it or change the fear just be with it and then I can take the steps through it without any like fighting um, and it can be much easier hello everybody I've stolen a Bennett's phone so I'm gonna be the new the new character. I'm gonna be replacing him. You can still call me Bennett. I look a little different, but I'll you know I'll do the same cool things. I'll go swimming and stuff. He's just gonna follow me around. Yeah, I'll follow him around though. It's my friend. Hey man. Hey. He's gonna so make some coffee making, for us. Right, you can you can say it. Making coffee for Jeff. And Pedro. No, I'm Bennett. This is Pedro. You have to go around like that. So okay. don't document this because I'm not doing it right. <laughs> oh, whatever. I'm shunned by all my coffee friends. Oh, well. <laughs> but you need some, you need some brew strength there? Moment no, of no. the truth. The moment of the truth. Not yet, really. It's more when we taste it. It is. Well, no, you got to watch it because you want it to be like a 25, like 22 to 25 second pour. <laughs> I've got so much. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, Matt, Matt used to, wa to look at his watch yeah. going yeah, yeah. while it's he was like, pouring the coffee. So. so you don't want the grounds to stick there. That's how you know it's a shitty tamper. Oh, huh. yeah. My new tamper is going to be sick. It's made out of bamboo. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look, it's not cool. You know, it's not made out of bamboo. It's not made out of bamboo. So that's the best part about that's it. That's how you know. <laughs> All right, one, two, three. Press the button. <laughs> okay, that's good. It's not that dark. But it's light too fast and it's pouring too quickly. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> this is so exciting. Okay, so that's not very good. You guys can have that. You guys can have that. bread. Oh yeah. Okay. Alright, we're gonna try it. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not horrible. It just doesn't taste a whole lot like espresso. It's very watery. Yeah, right. You know, it's like it could be good regular coffee almost. Oh. Just put water. <laughs> this is not. This is not. <laughs> Didn't realize how hungry I was, so I'm um, just gonna make lunch. Um, I've already made this mozzarella, tomato, and basil with some olive oil and salt and pepper. It's really good. Um, and then I'm going to make turkey sandwiches. Yeah, 
minutes working. He just did a session on me again. I feel like that's all that happened. But it was... So I've been having, like, mind-blowingly amazing insights today. And I know I keep telling you about them, but he just did it. It was so cool. It was, like, exactly... Basically, a permission came up. It was, I give my mind permission to be a playground. He's so amazing. Um, it was, I give my mind permission to be a playground. And I had to tap it out. When you permission comes up, you have to say it. And as I was saying it, it was like... I could feel all the parts of me that didn't want my mind to be a playground. Like, you know, just the idea that, like, in my mind I've been keeping it all so serious that I can, like, play and enjoy it more. Um, and there's always that part of me that's like, I have to work harder, I have to, like, you know, just sit down and plan it out and really be an adult and be a business person. And it's just like, nope, give me my permission to play. Like, that's how creation happens. It's such a childlike thing to be able to imagine and, like, get excited about something, like go into your own imaginary world, and and that's when you can really create anything as possible, rather than being in your like logical mind, it's like, well, no, that can't work out because of this, this, and this. You know, a kid is like, anything's possible. And the older we get, the more we learn, no, you, that can't happen, that can't happen, and that can't happen. And you have to work really hard to make what you want to have happen, but really we're like, from birth, we're gifted with everything we need. We just need our imagination, and then we find a way to create it. Um, so I'm giving my mind permission to be a playground, which is really nice. Bennett had rehearsal today. He's just working on stuff. Do you want to tell him about your band or no? Oh, it's a secret. <laughs> I guess... You, what? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. To, to be... We'll tell you about it soon, or he'll tell you about it soon. But they had rehearsal this morning. Um, Uh-oh, Buddha's cooking. See, I put the Buddha right here. I think that needs to be an Instagram picture. I haven't filmed it all today. Ah, and it's already like 4.30, headed to teach three lessons in the east side oh and then one more at home big lesson day five lessons today but it's really fun um I'm teaching my another guitar student today i'm going into the subway right now and then two banjo students they're doing really well all of them are doing really well so it's been fun and um i don't know i feel like teaching today so it's good uh, but it is a lot, so, um, yeah, I'm running late because i got to catch, you know. But it's fine. So Bennett just left the house to go teach a lesson, and I happened to look outside right before he left, and I looked across the street and glanced, and there was these, like, four chairs, like, dining room-style chairs sitting outside of somebody's house. So here in New York, that's what people do is they just stick their stuff they don't want out on the street and usually someone will come pick it up. So I just found these four chairs. We've been needing dining room chairs. And they're kind of dirty, but I'm cleaning them off. I think they're going to work. I'm going to show them to you. They're kind of like retro style, like wood panel looking chairs. I would never have gone to the would never have gone to the store and picked these out, but they're a lot dirtier than I expected. I think they're going to work out really well. It's exciting because we've been needing, like, a matching set. Oh, my gosh. This is going to take a while. Mom sent me a package. I got that in the mail today, and all the, it's a bunch of clothes. They're sitting over there on the counter. You can see them right there. I found these chairs. I don't know. I, I have a clip of them from earlier that I probably already showed you. Um... But they're good. I sat in one of them and because you see how like the support down here there isn't that much. Like it's really narrow. They're kind of retro. Like on two of them that part is really weak and so the back like lean, if you lean into it it leans back a lot and it's just kind of so I sat in the, the first one I sat in I leaned back and it like cracked a little bit and it's just because there's like layers of wood curved and the layers of wood have like cracked apart. 
So what I've done is there are two that are like that and two that are actually really sturdy. So I've put the two that are really sturdy on the, let's see if you can see. I've put the two that are really sturdy on this side because there's no wall back here, but the other two I put over there because there's a wall. So you can lean back in them, but they're being supported by the wall. So I'm going to see, I'm just going to do a little research and see if we can fix them, but um, now they can be support. But I really like the chairs. So I hope you all had an amazing day. Um, and I hope you're feeling like you're getting all the support you need. And look, then it's done. Oh my gosh, I'm done. Such a long day. Really good lessons though. I should talk to the camera. Such a long day. I'm so freaking hungry. There's tuna pasta. Tuna pasta.